when I say to that, yeah, hallelujah. Um, do everything, do everything that goes on in time, out of time, within time, you know, always, always seek to just take that time out just to say that, you know, it's an interesting um, season that we're in, I should, I should say. Should I call it a season? Hmm. I'll probably change that terminology up. Yeah, may the the way things have been shifting, you know, and they doing this this time of the year has re really been um, intriguing to say the least. Like I don't really, I don't fear for anything, but I do want to give me. Like, the right words to the people. I wish Hashem sent me the um, good words too. And this is in regards to the little ones. Protect the little ones. You know, we, we said that a few times. Hopefully the messages got out there, the frequency hit we need to. And as we go on to the next level, after the little ones, Make sure you protect your desires. You guard your desires. You guard it. Master it. Definitely the desire over what you can see and what you eat. I know a basic instinct, we don't really think about those things that much anymore. Yeah, that's going to come back into fruition, what we eat. For they, they seek bodies. These beings seek bodies. And they need more than just the blood of you. They need, they need blood. A lot of blood, constant blood. I know people when they oh yeah, blood sacrifices. They, it's not just they, they the, within the blood is the internal flame. The internal flame belongs to the above, you know. And they want to drink that because they need to be eternal because they are not beings of the flesh. They are beings of spirit. And they cut off that one that's that cut with um, what's above. And when you do that, you can't really see. And your existence kind of starts to fade away. Unless you can see life. And the life is, is where? It's in the blood. Because the eternal flame is in there. So they could see it. It's kind of funny. Y'all might, might be thinking they're vampires or whatever. It's even beyond that. That's just like, they visions, dreams, they dreams, they, you ever go to sleep, you had dreams. You know, dreams are a way that you can peek into the spiritual realm. It's like, it's like beings from above giving you a message in a way that you can comprehend it to a certain degree in ways that you can understand it. It's the same thing that um, the society does, the world society, movies, you know, entertainment. All those things are visions that they're giving you, dreams. They're trying to take your imagination, you know, create your imagination. Because imagination is creation, you know, because your thoughts and everything, that's invisible. That's invisible. And to um, truly be able to go into the spiritual realm, you have to accept it. You have to be able to accept it, you know. That's why death is so, that's why death is like the bridge, the gap into that next realm. Because in death, there's nothing you can do but accept it, you know? Yet, you've always been um, shown, you've been shown things, you've been shown um, many things. They could be warnings, they could be just the, the process of understanding that a, a place outside of this physical realm exists. And the way it's done is made through dreams because you can't just hop into the spiritual realm, you know, because to, to hop into anything, it takes acceptance. It's like a baby, a newborn baby. When a newborn baby is here, the way it learns is by accepting this reality, accepting the fact that, hey, I got to, this is how they talk. This is just what it is. This, this is, this fire is hot. This is what it is. This water, it can make me sick, that's what it is. It's just like accepting the fact. 
accepting the accepting your reality and the spiritual realm is so incredibly above anything we have seen here that when, when we're in the flesh when we're in this physical we cannot really accept it we can't accept it because it's not, it's unimaginable to a certain degree so they, these beings down here they they want they well it's all planned from above from Hashem you know everything's planned because it's going to be the end of all ends but just to focus on the topic these beings down here these beings down here they they're seeking to come back into bodies they're seeking for the war because it's the time of times and they need bodies they need bodies to possess and they need people to be able to accept what they are so it could be so it could come into fruition so the two rounds could come together so what they have been doing for so many years is giving us the imagination the vision the vision you know, and the vision is by basically movies, Snake, movies, media, Nate, everything, fishing off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it all exists within the spiritual realm. And it all exists in a in place outside the physical. You know, so they got to they gotta put these things in your face so you can constantly be thinking of it. You can constantly already heard of it. You know, it's just, just the inkling to know that it exists is all it needs for it to be created here. You know, so these things are put into our, our faces, Nate, for a long time, whole generation, and it's right. It's right for the picking. <laughs>